All right, here we go, man. Here we go, man. These folks, man, they they tired of eating the fried chicken with Biden, man. They they tired of eating the chicken and watermelon, man. You know, the last time they ate the, ate the watermelon, man, they they somebody choked on the seeds, man. And um, the chicken too greasy. The chicken too greasy. It's 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 soaking through everything, man. They tired of eating the chicken and, and, and all this, man. So yeah, uh, he coming out there with the fried chicken or whatever. And the reason I call it call it that because it it, it is a, a form of pandering. You could say, okay, I understand this and I understand that, but you don't do nothing to change it. But you change other things. But you don't do nothing to change that. Like you know, what I'm saying things like the crime bill and stuff like that. And but but just check it out. Just check it out. A more house. Some are protesting President Joe Biden's upcoming visit. Eleven Lives. Bobeth Yates is live on campus. Bobeth, what are you hearing there from students? Well, students have been very rowdy. They are just kind of voicing their concerns, saying that they're just not happy with this. They say they're out here because their demands for their university has not been met for the organizations to divest from any support or companies that they are in relationship with. Now, I want you to take a look behind me where you can actually see some of them. As soon as you see this bus pass, you can see them right behind me there as they are working. And again, the students say, and the students say that they are out here because their demands from the university to dissolve all relationships with the organizations funding and supporting Israel have not been met. They say they do not want President Biden on campus because of his support for Israel and the war in Gaza. They don't want and they no chicken, man. believe that his visit to the don't area no chicken, is to man. pander to the black community for votes. Pander. A group of about 25 people maintain they represent the majority of AUC students who disagree with the war in Gaza. They tell me even if they're unsuccessful, stop inviting from speaking at commencement. They will continue to take a stand and they even have a message for him. Not just about Palestine. We remember the 94 crime bill. We as black people remember mass incarceration. Um, cease fire now, stop sending weapons to a genocidal regime. Um, respect international law. Um, and don't try to use us for political clout. Uh, we are not pawns. We do not wish to be a part of your campaign. And uh, whether or not you are able to get elected is purely on you. Whoa. Now the group says at current, they do not have plans to pro. Whoa, he just said a mouthful, man. It's a lot of this sentiment going on, especially with the crime bill. The crime bill really hurt, you know, Hillary even looking like she had a chance. Like, you know what I'm saying? People like people that mass incarceration is still affecting the black community this day due to the crime bill. And those laws are still in place. And, um, you know, they're they're denouncing how Georgia has been handling the protesters. Them folks getting down at Emory. Check out Emory. Look, this man riding this man like a whole camel. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, let's go. Ah, he got the yapper out. Back up, back up. What was that? Oh, is that the rubber? That the rubber bullets? Man, them folks going in. Yeah, they got the pepper spray going. Man. We're with CNN. 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 Man, they still, they still, man, CNN and CNN and nothing. They don't, folks ain't playing out there, man. They got the rubber bullets out and everything. And um, this was denounced. Yeah, man, it, it it got pretty. It that looked like it, it got pretty uh, spicy up and it got pretty edgy up in there, man. That was serious. That was serious business going on over there, man. Um, and for those not familiar, you know the um the protests are basically, 
you know, you got a you you got a group of students that are demanding that the uh, school divest from from Israel. You know what I'm saying? They want a ceasefire in the Middle East. They don't want no more war. And, and you got the pro-Israeli uh, protesters who say the war is justified. So you got two student bodies clashing in two 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 schools of thoughts. And I'm sure that goes on to to the out to the home and everything like that. But then you have that that uh, the Morehouse protest where you saw him uh, uh, lump in the the crime bill, the the buying coming, uh, uh, dancing and, and going to the church, kissing black babies and all that stuff. You know, he tied in all that to it. So it's a lot going on, a lot of moving places. Then they shoot rubber bullets, man. You heard that do 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 do. And then you heard the man sound like a table. Was going, it was a lot going on, folks. Coffee, man. It was a lot going on. It's busy activity out there in the streets, man. Um, I was going to go out there, but the, I think I could get it secondhand, right? I think I could get it secondhand. Um, so let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. We out.